So in this video, we are going to take a look at chat avatar. This lets you create 3D characters, photorealistic meta human like 3D characters by just using a text prompt. And these are all the characters that the users have made. So if you click on one of these characters, you can see that this is the character again, pretty realistic meta human quality. So you can see what prompts this user has used to make this. And you can also generate characters using a photograph. So we are going to take a look at that later on. So you can go to their website and you can use my coupon code. That's going to give you some free credit. So this is only available for the first 99 users. And again, all the links are down in the description. So I am going to type in the character name. Again, you can type in anything that you want. I'm going to type in Tom Cruise. Let's generate Tom Cruise. And uh, you can see that you have different styles here. So you can select different styles. So here in the GBD like interface, I want Tom Cruise in like late forties. So I can type that. And the GBD thing also gives you suggestions, right? So you could take a suggestion and modify it. And here you can develop the personality of the character, the look and uh, how your character is, right? Once you have done this, you'll see that all the keywords have been extracted. And those keywords are going to be used for generating the character. So once you are happy with this, you can press the generate button and you know, it's pretty surprising. I mean, this looks very similar to Tom Cruise just without the hair, of course, but this looks pretty similar. I would say now let's take a look at export options. So you can export this as a 2k or a 4k. This is the texture resolution. So you can select 4k. Next, you can choose between default or a meta human export. So you can pretty much export this as a meta human character for Unreal Engine 5, or you can use the default uh, character export thing. So we're going to use that. Here you can select the body, the eyes and teeth, whether you want blend shapes and back head textures. So these are like additional uh, export options pretty much. So I exported that and saved it. So once this gets exported, you can download it and you'll get a zip file. Now let's take a look at how to generate characters using photographs, right? So I'm going to click right there to upload my image. So here we have Angelina and uh, this is the photograph that I'm going to use. Again, you can use any photograph. Now chat avatar is going to extract some keywords from the photograph based on the facial structure and stuff like that. So uh, what we can do is we can actually modify those keywords if you want. So next you have the focal length of the photograph and uh, you have the medium shot, the telephoto, the detail shot and the custom focal length, right? In my opinion, for this particular image, the medium shot works pretty well. So this looks pretty good. You also have some advanced options. You could take a look at those. But in this case, all the default options work really well. And chat avatar gives you a very good preview here. So you can preview between the photograph, the textured model and the actual uh, model and viewport. And if you compare these images, you can see that it has done a very good job of matching the photograph with the actual model. And you can see that most of the facial features are pretty well replicated. So now once you pack this, the export process is pretty much similar. Cool. Now let's import these uh, characters and let's import the model, right? So I had downloaded the Tom Cruise model. So let's work with that. So this is Blender and you have a plugin for this. Again, links are down in the description. So just install the plugin, enable the plugin. So this is a very easy interface. Just import your uh, chat avatar package. And we have this character imported looks pretty good. The topology and everything is pretty good. And here we also have all the blend shapes. So you can like take a look at those for animation purposes. If you go to the rendered mode, you can see how realistic this is, right? I mean, a lot of detail here in the 4k texture. Again, if you wanted to model this or make this like it would take like at least a week like for modeling, texturing and doing the blend shapes and all that stuff. But with AI, I mean, this just got made in like what, five minutes. So it's pretty surprising. Now we're going to do the same thing, but in Unreal Engine. 
UE5 also has a plugin for this. Links are down in the description. So this is where you access the plugin from. So you can import it as a meta human character and that's going to like create a meta human uh, face for you, right? A meta human character. So that's pretty much it for this video. I would love to hear your thoughts about this. And if you like this video, please leave a like down below, subscribe and yeah, I'm going to see you guys in the next video.